I feel like I work for a suicide hotline, like everyone in my life wants to kill themselves. I am so sick of it. Like I have this friend, she lives the most perfect life and she loves to call me and suck all my energy and I've had it. I've totally changed my attitude. Here she is. Hello, Amy. I just want you to know that I'm going to kill myself. What I do, you can come to my house and have anything you want. I said, oh, well you need to shop at some better stores. <laughs> I don't wear thrift clothes. Have you ever had a friend and like you have to go through the phases of a relationship with them and you know they're a loser up front but you can't tell them but you see all the signs, right? <laughs> She's like, oh my God, he was so generous. He bought three bottles of wine. That's because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, he wanted a commitment on the first date. He says, I'm the only one for him. That's because he's a loser and no one else wants him. <laughs> but the state of Nebraska, right? Then she starts complaining. No, he never wants to go out. Really? Because he was over here last night. <laughs> and he left a tip. <laughs> so, she's always like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I'm like, I have a list. Okay. <laughs> Pretty, right? But I try to help her because she's like, she's trying to find a new guy. And she's like, um, oh my God, I'm going to buy all new dishes and silverware. And I'm like, you might want to try lipstick and mascara. Right? And she gets a beauty treatment every day. She's like getting a tan, her hair done, she gets her lashes done. I'm like, why don't you try brushing her teeth? <laughs> Seriously. So um, with each new guy, she's like, he's a soulmate. I'm like, you have more of a soul train, okay? <laughs> Shut your legs for a second. But um, she tells me that what it is is she has low self-esteem. I'm like, what is that? She goes, Amy, it means I hate myself. People, why would you hate yourselves? when you can hate others. <laughs> so um, one thing I hate, I'm so thankful I no longer have a day job. I hate day jobs, right people? Thank you. You know what I hate about day jobs? Is the way they cut into your day. <laughs> They're always asking you to do things you don't want to do, like show up, <laughs> answer the phone. It's like, hey, why don't you get it? It's always for you anyway. He calls me in the office to have the little meeting and tell me what's wrong with me. And he actually hurt my feelings because I've heard this about me before. He goes, Amy, I know what's wrong with you is you, you, um, you're impatient and you talk too fast. And then I thought about it. I'm impatient and talk too fast? Maybe you think too slow. <laughs> Maybe if you thought a little faster, I could be more patient, right? He's like, no, I'm serious. Maybe you have ADD. And I'm thinking, maybe you're boring. Maybe if you were interesting and I cared about this job, I'd pay attention. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much.